In this video, I will be teaching you how to make a duotone image in Photoshop, so eventually you can print this image. A duotone is a photographic print process where the image is split into two tones or layers. Sometimes this process is also called a duplex. Typically, a duotone is broken into a midground and a foreground. For our process, we will be doing a background and a foreground. This is the image that we're going to be making for the demo. I chose this specifically because it has a defined background and foreground. Once you've decided on your image, you're going to open Photoshop. First, you're going to change the image size. Go to Image, then go to Image Size, and you're going to change that size. Make sure it is going to fit a tabloid. That's what we're going to print out. A tabloid is 11 by 17. So you will scale the image to fit the 11 by 17 space. My photo is scaled to 11 by 14, which fits onto that piece of paper, the tabloid. Notice that I have made the resolution 600 to get the finest detail. Now what you're going to do is save this image. Typically your image will be in color, so it will be in RGB or CMYK. What you're going to do now is go and make it into grayscale. This will help with the duotone. So you're going to go to image mode and then you're going to see grayscale. Click that. Once it's in grayscale, you should save it again. Now go back to image mode and select duotone. This is going to make it so that you are in the duotone function. Once you're in the duotone, a option box is going to pop up. So you'll see at the top, it says type duotone. Now you'll see ink one and ink two. That's the splits of the duotone. For the first ink, you're going to select a color. I selected blue since it is really apparent what the difference is between the red and the blue for the foreground and the background. So if you click the ink, the little ink color cube, you can select your color. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be any complementary. After you've selected that, now push OK and click on the curve button. The curve button will help you modify to make a distinct light to dark contrast. And um, usually you want the work to be very contrasty without so many gray tones. Now go back and do the same steps with ink two. Again, I chose red and blue, but you can choose whatever you want. Just because you've chosen these colors, it doesn't mean that this is what you'll print. It's purely a guide. Now, once you're finished with that, you're going to go back to image mo mode and click multi-channel. This will separate the two colors into um, different channels. So when you'll see the channel tab is open, you're going to see that now it's blue and red or whatever colors you chose. Click on the hamburger icon in the channel area. Go now to split channels. Click that. You'll see two different files open. Each as the name foreground or background or red and blue. What you're going to do is save each of these separate files and name them however it is easiest. I will be now referring to them as foreground and background. Open the foreground image. Go to image, mode, select bitmap. Once you're in bitmap, a, the bitmap option box will open. You'll see that the output is 600, which is what we have defined our image as when we did image size. Under method, you want to make sure it says halftone. Push OK. 
When the half tone screen option box opens, you'll see frequency and angle. You're going to keep the angle the same for both of the files. So remember that it's the same angle. I would write it down. With mine, I'm using 15, which is what I would recommend for the angle. You'll see that the frequency is 60. The higher the frequency, the more detail you'll have for the foreground. Now click OK and save. This is what your image is going to look like in the foreground. So you'll notice how fine the detail of the halftone is. Go back to the blue, or as we're referring to it, background layer or file. Repeat the exact same step. Make sure that you're in image mode bitmap. Once that option opens, make sure that the resolution is 600 and it's halftone. Click OK. When the option box opens, you're going to see that the angle is still 15. Make sure it is 15. Then you're going to change the frequency. Again, we're making the background lower, which will make larger halftones. This, the chunkier it is, as I like to call it, or the lower um, the number, it will give bigger, bigger halftones and we'll define the two different layers. So this is what your image will look like. Notice that the half tone is much, much larger, and so that will be the background layer. After that, what you're going to be doing is printing them. So again, save both layers. We're going to be printing tabloids. So a tabloid is 11 by 17. Make sure the image is scaled the same as the file itself. So in my case, it was 11 by 14, the photograph. Now you're going to go scroll down in those options and click the, you'll see the print marks. So I click anything that, that will help me, meaning the registration guide, the description, etc. That is the way I'll know which is the foreground and the background layer. Again, a duotone is a two-tone split, and now I'll show you how to make your screens.